Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 6 on your side. A ferocious gunfight and hostages killed. And tonight, the question is what happened in Sydney, Australia, as people ran for their lives? In the end, the man behind all of this was himself killed. But many questions remain. What did he want? And why did police move in when they did? Senior political reporter Scott Thuman joins us with disturbing details about the suspect. Scott? And Maureen, they went in using flash grenades and firing weapons because police say they believed if they did not, many lives beyond the two hostages who were killed would be lost. The sheer number of gunshots enough to show just how much danger hostages were in. Police say they had to make their move in that 17th hour with 12 lives at risk. We believed that no one had been injured. That changed. We changed our tack. Two hostages died, the gunman too. 50-year-old man Heron Monis, a self-declared cleric. His motive for taking over the Sydney Cafe? Police aren't saying specifically. It's not time to speculate or to develop theories. We're going to work through the facts and we will advise you as soon as we can. This pen is my gun. He'd been known in Sydney and for nefarious reasons. A criminal history of writing harassing letters to families of dead Australian soldiers, an accessory to his ex-wife's murder and numerous charges of sexual assault. And while some say it initially appears he had no direct ties to Islamic terror, the message is equally dangerous. There's no question that this is exactly the type of attack that ISIS, the Islamic State, ISIL, would like to see happen. And we have seen them call for just this type of attack. Matthew Levitt of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy says lone wolves, regardless of their reasons, only encourage others. The problem is that as events like this transpire around the world, other people see just how doable they are. Of the initial 17 hostages, five of them escaped well before the shooting. Two were killed, though we don't know yet if that happened during the shootout or prior to it. Four more are in the hospital, the rest unharmed. By the way, one police officer was also shot in the face, but he is said to be in good condition tonight. Maureen. Thank you, Scott. Now, to be clear, uh, that suspect did not have any direct ties with ISIL. However, Australia's government raised the country's terror warning in uh, September in response to the domestic threat posed by supporters of the Islamic State group. Counter-terror law enforcement teams conducted dozens of raids and made several arrests in Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane.